Hey there fellow wedge shavers, Brian here with the Wedge Shave Experience. Thanks for tuning in today's video. Today's video we're going to be using Kitty's Bubbles Purple Grapefruit. I have do not have a matching splash for that, but I'm going to use Dr. John's Flowers in the Dark to uh, follow that up. We're going to be trying out the One Blade again. Um, we're really trying to kind of compare some of the um, single edges, the um, supply, the twig, and the One Blade. So this would only be my second use of the One Blade. Uh, I have my Smiles for Miles um, Synthetic TRC, um, the Razor Company Collaboration Brush, and we're all lathered up in the bowl. So I'm going to wet the face and we'll get started. I will announce the winner in this video of the, uh, let me grab my towel, of the um, Tonstrina, uh, Gothorum Tonstrina. Uh, set that I announced uh, a giveaway on on the Vita video. So I will announce that in today's video because I want to get that announced and out. So stay tuned here. Um, so I got this recently. This is a two ounce pour from Kitty's Bubbles. So if you buy directly from Kitty's Bubbles website, there are a few scents that are available in a two ounce pour. You pay a little bit more per ounce doing that. This uh, tub was uh, $8 for two ounces. Uh, and I think the full four ounce tub on this particular one is like 14. So some of um, Kitty's Bubbles soaps are, are priced a little bit differently depending on, um, I think some of the ingredients that might be in the soap. And then they also have a luxury cream formula, which is more expensive to make. So that's like $20 for four ounces. 18 to 20 or something like that. But anyways, this is in their regular base. Uh, it's not the um, luxury cream formula. It's a very nice base. Um, you don't really think about grapefruit and lavender. So that's the purple grapefruit, grapefruit and lavender going together. I would never really thought about that. Uh, I know this is um, Jeremy the Traveling Shaver, one of his favorite scents. I think my camera's a little crooked, so I'm gonna try to fix that there. Sorry about that. Um, he's used it on his channel a few times. Uh, I made another, I made an order with, uh, Kitty's Bubbles. So I threw this in there and, um, so I have been interested in this scent and I like it enough that I, at some point will definitely pick up the splash. Scent notes are simple, lavender and grapefruit. Um, scent strength on the soap is, you know, a low medium. So, uh, very nice. I enjoy lavender. I enjoy lavender scented stuff. So, I got one of my wife's hairs, I think, or something going on in there. Um, so, this is very nice. I like it a lot, actually. I had heard before on the one blade, one of the knocks is that the, the blade uh is only good for a couple of shades so that's kind of what this is the second use on a feather blade so this uses a a particular blade uh, by feather and um, this is the only commercially available blade i believe that you can get for the one blade now i have heard that i don't know what version of the one blade this is um because this was gifted to me from can shade 326 but um, I know I watched Chris uh, IMCDB's videos on the One Blade, and apparently there's an older version of the One Blade that you can just put a gem blade in, and then the newer version you have to um, cut some um, notches or something in the blade to get it to fit into the One Blade. So I'm not I'm not sure what this is, but I do know that in some way, no matter which one you have, you can use a gem blade in it. You just have you just may have to modify the blade. Uh, in some way to get it to fit into the razor. But other than that, you're kind of locked into their um, feather blade, well, feathers blade that goes in this razor. So this razor does um, pivot, although, um, I don't really put enough pressure, I don't think, on the blade to really engage that pivot. I 
I really like this lavender scent. It's nice and relaxing. Hopefully everybody's having a good week. It is, it is uh, Friday. It's my Friday. Had a couple of rough shaves this week with uh, the ultra close plate on the supply company. So I think that's partially the plate and partially my technique. Really need to work on that um, with that particular razor. And then, um, so yesterday I just did a shave off camera and I used my Mercure 34C. And I think I'm good to go now. Much milder razor. That's kind of my go to when I need a nice, easy, quick uh, shave. I'll go a lot of times to the Mercure 34C. Everybody's doing well. I see that our, our, our Oregon fire is spreading its smoke across the country. So some of you may have be getting, I've seen some pictures of New York uh, from the smoke, from this fire that's raging in southeastern Oregon. So it's pretty far from where I'm at. And ironically, we're not seeing any smoke from it. Um, which is nice. I think we're more towards the coast, uh, although we're not on the coast, but um, the wind is blowing east. And so we're fortunate here, I guess, that we're not seeing, where's my water bottle? Um, this is just water in here. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, if you're watching this for the first time, please consider subscribing below. If you like the video at all, hit that thumbs up button down below. All that just helps the channel. And uh, those of you that have been here, appreciate the continued support. Really, really do. Because I wouldn't still be doing this if it wasn't for you folks. So, anyways. Um, yeah, we're not feeling the, the smoke here, but man, it's, and it's, the fire is in a pretty rural area of Oregon. Although I, it is starting to encroach, I think, some um, populous areas. And I think it's destroyed a few structures. But for the most part, it's in a southeastern part of the state that is um, not that populated. So for the size of the fire, I guess it's pretty fortunate that there's not a larger population. Um, although, you know, it has affected some people, which is pretty sad. Um, But we had those fires here last year in September that were probably 35, 45 miles just east of here. And it just socked us in for like a week. And we were trying not to leave the house. I had like all of the vents closed. I was actually using painter's tape to tape up all the, the cracks in the doors. <laughs> I mean, we had um, air purifiers going. We had to make a uh, a makeshift purifier out of a box fan and a, and a furnace filter. It was crazy. So fortunately, we're not doing that right now. And the one blade is, is uh, one blade's working nice. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't I don't know that I would have purchased this blade initially, or this razor, I should say. Um, so it was fortunate that it was gifted to me. But it seems like a pretty nice razor. This is, um, I don't know which what they call it. Um, but this is like the one I think that's like 99 bucks. I think it's the, I can't remember what they call it. So not inexpensive, but not super expensive either. I think the biggest expense for this razor, unless, I don't know how much gem blades are. If you, and if, you know, if I could modify them for this razor, I imagine they're less expensive, but the, those feather blades aren't inexpensive. And 
I heard the knock on them is you can't get a lot of shaves where like the supply comes with eight injector blades. And they say that's a, I think a 90 day supply. So they're expecting you to use eight blades in 90 days. So you're, you're getting, if you're shaving every day, uh, you're supposedly getting quite a few shaves out of the blades. All right, so let's go against the grain here. And this is just, I, I just really like lavender. Um, and it's just a calming, relaxing scent to me. And it's just such a nice shape. And Katie's Bubbles, by the way, if you haven't tried it, you should give them a try. We've been around a long time. I mean, you know, if you're, if you're looking at, you know, the labels, they don't have the fanciest labels. They're not out there trying to create a label for your shave of the day picture on Instagram. Um, you know, I also picked up water liptus, which is a nice scent, but it's a, it's a pretty basic label, um, from a design standpoint. Uh, but Chris, the soap maker has been around in the community a long time. He's a great guy, very active on social media, um, particularly on Facebook and in many of the groups there. Definitely getting some tugginess on the against the grain, for sure. You can still hear that feedback, so there's still hair to cut. Um, but he makes a, just a solid soap. Um, and it's a little bit of a harder soap, but um, a little bit goes a long way. I find sometimes in some of these newer formulas uh the artisans are some of the artisans are putting out today the softer softer soaps um require more soap to get a similar amount of lather not always but i find that to be true in some cases so and then i find a lot of times when the soap is a little bit harder um I find that I can put a little bit less in my bowl to get the same volume of lather. So it's not all about volume, but right, my point is that sometimes when the harder soaps, you can, the, the tub of soap will last you a little bit longer than um, some other tubs. Now I'm really feeling a lot of uh, resistance and tugginess on this third pass. I'm gonna to try to ride the cap a little bit more. Oh, our winner. Huh. Sorry, I got talking there. Um, all right, let's get to that in a second. Let's finish this. So I don't do the typical traditional fool's pass against the grain in the mustache area. I was a little worried about on this razor. How the the um, action on it might affect the shave, but like I said, I think if if you're using a light touch, which is what you should be doing, you don't really engage it. In my opinion. All right, okay, so let me uh, get all this off here. So we'll just, um, before we get to the post, we'll inject the winner here. So here we go, there we are.
and congratulations to Readyland. All right, so if you are the winner, sorry, I don't know your, your actual name, but if you are the if you're Readyland and you're the winner, um, email me at thewetshaveexperience at gmail.com. Or if you're on Instagram, you can look me up at the wet shave experience um, and you can PM me on there. So Gmail, the wet shave experience at gmail.com or on Instagram at the wet shave experience and PM me. So congratulations. Thank you to all those that entered and um, I will try to get that out to you soon. And I'll give um, I'll give the winner like, you know, a week or or more, I don't know, give or take um, to kind of uh, message me. And if they don't, um, I, will re I will do a re-spin and we'll get a new winner. All right, uh, let's rinse the face. So I'm still finding certain areas where like right in here particularly, I'm gonna try to do a little touch up there. This area of my jawline typically gives me a little bit of trouble in terms of wanting to be shaved. All right. And since I don't have the matching splash, we'll go with what, I mean, can't go wrong with Dr. John's Flowers in the Dark. This is one of the best, also fantastic lavender scent. This is one of my favorite scents of all time. My den. It's one of the very first sets I got actually when I started wet shaving. Mm, very nice. This also qualifies as a at BBS Live Citrus Week shave because we had the grapefruit in the soap. So, gentlemen, cheers. Uh, I missed you guys last night. We had a, a neighborhood barbecue going on and um, I couldn't pop in. So, hope I didn't win anything or miss anything. Um, Anyways, thanks for tuning in today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the shave, and we'll see you soon on the channel.